A staggering 93% of us now own a mobile phone, and failing to get a signal can be a real headache. You might expect problems in the middle of nowhere, but surely not here in the heart of a big city like Liverpool. So what sort of places do you find that the signal drops out? Shops. Yeah, inside shops. shops. Yeah. Shopping centres can't go on anything like any of the apps or like receive tax or anything. You always need Wi-Fi, I find, always to get any signal whatsoever. In this day and age, it's a bit surprising, isn't it? It is really paying so much. They just need butler ideas up and actually get a proper signal side. Yet when Telecom's regulator Ofcom tested coverage in five cities, including Liverpool, it found calls connected and websites downloaded up to 98% of the time. But it seems pesky urban black spots are a problem. A survey of 2,000 mobile phone users found 40% of them struggled with black spots in cities. And Liverpool had the most complaints. Paul Carter runs the wireless company that carried out that survey. Today, Paul and his team are testing the service provided in Liverpool by the UK's big four operators and they're using some pretty nifty kit. So what we have right here are six different phones that allows us to test the, the different wireless networks. We have some that are testing the voice networks and some are testing the packet data networks, the, you know, the access to the internet. And they're being controlled by this tablet so that we can figure out how many calls were successful and how many failed and how many dropped and so on. Up to 16% of the time, the researchers found they were in areas of poor or no coverage and the worst black spots were found at some of Liverpool's main train stations, its most popular tourist spots, and inside some of its shopping centres. How's the signal looking? The signal level has dropped quite dramatically, um, and the last test that we just did failed, so very poor coverage, because it, it just wasn't able to set up that call. We're right in the middle of the city centre, really. You wouldn't expect that, would you? Well, it's, it's a bit of a challenge because you're reliant on a cell site transmitting from some rooftop around here. And it's probably just the, the location here is in a dead zone, so it's, it's the furthest away from any of the surrounding cell sites. There are free Wi-Fi hotspots around the city, but that means the hassle of logging on. So why can't we have consistent mobile phone coverage? Well, we know that. The sore points for you, man. Oh, it drives me mad. You were just it saying? It drives me mad. I live near Clapham Go Junction, on. right? I think that's still the, one of the biggest rail intersections in Europe. Can't get a signal there. Can't get it. And mostly, it's people, it's people lobbying against it, going, oh, this Joshua's asthma got much worse after we switched to O2. <laughs> <laughs> just, just nonsense. Nonsense. Put them up everywhere. Even on the train. Can't get them on, no. on, on. They say there's Wi-Fi on the train, but it's basically information about no trains have why proper you're delayed. Wi-Fi. No, exactly. No. Mm. I just got back from Vietnam, right? I rode 500 kilometres on a motorbike through the Central Highlands. Ooh. Coverage everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> because the willingness was there. I mean, in fairness, they have a communist government, so they can more or less do what they want. There Ours, you go. Ours there you do go. have to sort of <laughs> consult people on some stuff.